Hey, 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 what is up, y'all? We have a new video. Uh, there is a new ninja tower that just came up. So we do have some coins. We do have some gems. So let's go and do some pools and see what are the new ninja heroes that are out now. So there's two new ones. And I very much like that Muin is also featured here. Uh, this is the... I think this is one of the better uh, green ninjas to come out. Love that she heals really well uh, and that mana generation and defense is really good. But let's have a look at the two newest ones. We have Kushanku and Azurite. So I'm not sure what Kushanku actually means because usually um, there is a batch of... Um, you know, ninjas like, for example, Mika, Ruby, Aconite, Serendite, all these are basically uh, mineral types of minerals. Uh, I think they're called like, I want to say colored minerals. Uh, these are rare, rare minerals, I think. And then they also came up with this, uh, you know, Japanese style names like Uniwakamaru, Mioinni, and Kushanku. So I was wondering what the meanings were. I actually didn't check it out. But let's see what Kushanku does. It is a 5 star yellow paladin. So each of these ninjas have the family bonus where for 2 or 3 ninjas you use in the same team, you have a 5 or 10% chance to dodge normal attacks and special skills and also counter attack with 60% or 90% of the damage received. This is really good sometimes when you have a sniper kind of like sniping you and those <laughs> ninjas kind of counter attack as well. This is, this is really strong. So he is a yellow paladin as I mentioned, so uh, again I'm not talking about the stats because the stats are overly inflated. Let's have a look at his special skill, Tumbling Dragon. So uh, mana speed at charge, uh, the ninja mana speeds depend on whether or not this ninja you know, actually has the 4% mana node or the 2% mana node. If you have the 4% mana node, a level 30 or 29 magic or sticks troops allows you to fire him the first charge at four um at four tiles following that it's eight and then after that it's like 12.5 or 13 something like that so tumbling dragon first charge deal 280 percent damage to the target the caster goes into hiding for two turns while hidden the caster can't receive new status effects or stacks and all received damage is reduced by 20 percent when the caster comes out of hiding, they deal 288 damage to all enemies who use special skills while the caster was hiding. The target automatically casts minus attack on a random ally when mana is full at the start of a turn during two turns. So, we previously have this kind of effect with, uh, you know, heroes like Rusula. Um, I think basically when season 4 came out, yeah, so you had like Rusula. Uh, there's this three star purple guy I don't remember his name I think it was like some mole guy um, and then you also have those heroes that go into hiding and provide uh, different like buffs to your heroes like for example Ameonna from season 2 and Luke Haith from season 4 uh, not those weren't really impressive not too much impact you know people were saying Rusula was going to be the thing and it turned out that he's completely crap uh, I think this one shifts the game a little bit because previously you don't have a way to kind of force them to use their special skills apart from um, you know getting them to, to kind of charge up uh, with you know with dumping tiles into them but with this one the, the, the ability to you know become automatically mindless uh, it reduces the impact of which they are casting their skills and at the same time, when they come out of hiding, they immediately get the 288 damage. So, at very fast speed, I think this is okay. It's sort of like a control. Uh, control at this one, since it's a paladin, so it's about very fast speed, so about 5 tiles. Uh, you get to do this, I think it was like 5, five or 6, somewhere around there. So, it's not too... I, I don't know if this will fall under the same category as like for example Rusula or um, or Lukeith or Ameonna but I think having that mindless attack gives you a little bit more control uh, makes it a more control type hero to use on offense 
um, defense I'm not sure I, I, I think I think having this you would rather have the flex the the choice and the flexibility to kind of use it when and nece when necessary so the second charge uh, same thing higher damage and goes into hiding for more turns uh, and that gives and you know at very uh, basically at this one will be technically average speed so it's still hitting one target only though so that's the that's the part that i don't really like but i guess with how the defenses are these days with them being uh destructively fast there is a there is a chance that they keep casting their special skills and and they take you know 400 damage all the time uh three percent uh three times charge uh goes into hiding for four turns uh, damage reduced by 40% and mindless attack for 4 turns so I think at slow speed uh, I'm pretty sure you won't do this at slow speed you will want this somewhere between the very fast or uh, very fast speed or for, uh, average speed and I think um, yeah even when they go into hiding they don't they don't actually not gain mana so you can kind of charge him up while he's in hiding as well so I think that's pretty good so yeah a decent hero not to say very necessary but yeah i can see it being useful the second one azurite five star blue squirrel at rogue light grenades um first mana charge deal 250 percent damage to the target and nearby enemies that's actually quite good the target and nearby enemies get negative 35 percent accuracy for two turns and i expect it affects special skills as well the target and nearby enemies deal 320 damage to a random ally if they miss their special skill during two turns. That's a very that's a brand new mechanic. So second charge, just a higher hit tree, higher ac uh, accuracy miss, and a higher damage dealt to a random ally if they miss special skills during three turns. Uh, and then the third charge is basically you know what you would expect from a slow speed: 400 percent damage to the target and nearby enemies, negative 54 percent accuracy. For four turns and 470 damage to a random ally if they miss over four turns the fact that you can blind three people and they keep hitting their allies if they miss special skills i think this one will be very interesting to see it's a new kind of control again it's it's more control uh, rather than being pure offensive like if you look at some of the new ninjas that come out for example you know amethyst uh, Serendite, Aconite, all these are more on the offensive. Uh, even even for Aconite, because Aconite, I think that uh, the counter attack, you kind of want to use it offensively. Uh, Oniwakamaru is also, uh, this one is more for control. Uh, Miyoini is more, I would say she's more on the offensive, even though she's a, she's a pure support. So, kind of interesting. I, I, like, I like how the new heroes are. Uh, if you ask me are they are they absolutely necessary uh, in my opinion no but it'll be fun to have them and kind of play around with them as well so we do have seven pools and I, uh, seven tower pools I do intend to use them and I and I probably just do a ten pool just for fun to see what we can get uh, I, I will be very happy if I can get a Mew Inni uh, or Uniwakamaru Uniwakamaru is, is really good. I mean, if you if you didn't have the chance to try Uniwakamaru, I think he's one of the best uh, taunts available in the game right now. So let's see what we can get. Seven pools. Uh, yeah, just to see what we can get. Uh, be, be, be mindful that the odds are pretty damn low as well. It's only a 1% chance to get the featured hero and 0.3% chance to, to get any other legendary heroes here. So let's see... <laughs> Pain, as usual. Pain. Bull task. Meh. Burden. Fish tag. And. No, so not even a four star. <laughs> Not even a four star ninja. Uh, did they release any new three star ninjas? I remember it was in the pipeline to reduce to introduce a new three star ninja. I guess they didn't uh, release it this time. But anyways, I, I think the only the, the ninjas that are missing are the green ninjas, Aconite Jade and uh, Peridot. I don't have them. I don't have Maika, Uniwakamaru. Um, I don't have Quartz as well. Even though he was in Soul Exchange, and I think it's pretty pretty bad okay let's do let's do 110 pool 
and then we'll move to the uh, troop summons see what we can get so let's just let it play out Carver Kailani Colon well I guess this is I can't even get the 3 star ninja or, the, or any one of the 4 star ninjas not that I would need them hey Amatrin is here Renfeld Fryer Fuckface Down Gear and I think that's all yeah so nothing much here um, and I guess I think I think we can just go and do some troop pools as well we do have 22 uh, 22 tokens I kind of want to see if I can get we're still missing out on a fort uh, blue ninja so I want to see if we can get the rest of it I pretty much have uh, the desired quantities so let's try and see what is this because I don't really need magic troops right now I do have in the pipeline to kind of level some of this uh, a second magic troop for blue red and green uh, for blue for yellow and purple I do have two uh, maxed already uh, so it's I guess it's now time to just basically work on ninja troops for events uh, and for titans as well I do I do you know I do hope that I can replace all my uh, all my mana and in, and magic troops for ninja troops in the future for titans and challenge events just purely on how much damage they deal well we're not getting anything huh come on give me something any four star troop will, will work as well <laughs> I mean, 15 pulls. Let's see where we are. Wow. Probably not, you know, not the best of luck here. Oh, four star mana troop. Well, a four star is a four star, it's a good feeder, I guess. like really not getting any of the ninja troops I guess which is sad really really sad oh well I guess I used up my luck uh, on previous hey that's a four star mana troop I guess I used up my luck on other portals already oh is it lagging yeah it's a bit lagging so I'm gonna blame the lag for that then the internet lag for <laughs> for not getting anything good. Ah, okay. So well, three four star troops out of twenty two. Actually, that's pretty decent, isn't it? That's about like a fifteen percent. Yeah, isn't it? It's like fifteen percent odds. <laughs> so, anyways, uh, hope you guys have uh, good luck in your pools. Uh, let me know if you. Uh, like Kushanku or you like Azurite the new ones and uh, well I can't wait to, to, to see how they actually function uh, probably not so much on defense but more on offense so yeah uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video then GG